So in this section, as promised, I'm going to describe how you would apply Bura Wheeler transform for pattern matching. And you will see that the BWT structure will allow you to reduce the memory required significantly. Let's take an example. Let's look, let's search for A and A in the text banana banana. And as you remember, this is a matrix where the rows are all possible cyclic rotations of the string. Because of that, all the matching will appear in clumps like this. Okay? But of course, we don't have enough memory to store all of these metrics, all of these metrics. So we just store the last column as the BWT. Because the last column is known, so we can also know the first column easily by sorting. So to look for A and A, we start from the last character, A. And we look in the first column. We can identify all uh, the rows that A appear. And what is the next character, N? We look to the last column, and we limit ourselves to N1, N2, and N3. Using the first last property, we can know where N1, N2, N3 appears in the first column. So now we already identify two letters much, right? So what is next is A. We just go back and find all A. Using the first last property, we can again know where the A3, A4, A5 appears in the first column. And in this case, A and A appear three times in the stream.